Rudy Giuliani apartment raided by feds. Political targeting or legit investigation? And this is a, a topic report. And this is Rudy Giuliani apartment DOG feds raid warrant UK. And uh, we're going with uh, Rudy Giuliani. Gio- <laughs> All of a sudden I can't say his last name. Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani apartment raided by DOJ in connection with Ukrainian investigation. And we're going to call this video Rudy Giuliani raided by DOJ. Well, I already said that. Well, there you go. There you go. And here's the headline uh, from Sputnik News. We're using Russian propaganda for this one. I thought that would be quite beautiful. Giuliani apartment raid might have been caused by voicemail hinting he had burner phone. This is from Sputnik News. According to the Justice Department handbook, before pursuing a search warrant for an attorney, federal prosecutors are encouraged to consider issuing a subpoena, but not, however, if it could com- compromise the criminal investigation or prosecution or result in the obstruction or destruction of in the obstruction or destruction of evidence. The Wednesday morning raid at Rudy Giuliani's Manhattan home and office might have been triggered by a recently resurfaced voicemail where he hinted at having a burner phone number. In the 2019 voicemail that was included in a December motion in court submitted by Joseph Bondi, the attorney for former Giuliani associate left Parnas, Giuliani says he has a soon-to-be-gotten-rid-of number. I can confirm the veracity of the statement that I made in that reply motion, Bondi confirmed to Newsweek. So, there, th- this is basically, this is the justification for going after Giuliani there. So, it's interesting, Russian propaganda is posting something which is not really good for Giuliani. So, that's interesting. Are the Russians turning on their supposed uh, mentoring candidate Trump, which I don't buy any of that. I'm just being facetious there, but... Uh, Biden says he didn't know in advance about Rudy Giuliani raid. And this is from the New York Post. President Biden on Thursday said that he wasn't aware in advance about the FBI raid on Rudy Giuliani's Manhattan apartment. I give you my word, I was not. I made a pledge. I would not interfere, Biden said in an interview with Craig Melvin of NBC News. I doubt, I, I don't know. I, I doubt that Biden did know. But not because, uh, not because he's right and noble, but because I don't think that Biden is... I'm just going to say I'm, I'm highly skeptical of Biden's cognizance at this point. Let's see what he has to say here. Mm. Made a pledge. He I would made a not pledge. interfere in any way order interfere. or try to stop any investigation the Justice Department had in their way. President Biden insisted he had no idea that FBI raid was going to happen at Rudy Giuliani's home in New York City. All right. So there you go. There's that little that little blunger from Biden. And then we get Rudy Giuliani defiant a day after FBI raided home office, ctvnews.ca. Rudy Giuliani sought to discredit the federal investigation into his dealings in Ukraine. I'll pay you word this. Yeah. A day after agents raided his home and office on his daily talk show on WABC radio, Giuliani referred to prosecutors in the U.S. Attorney's office Let's see what he has to say here. Don't do this to me. And let's see. Rudy Giuliani. Okay. Giuliani said the 6 a.m. search, which he said involved seven FBI agents, was unnecessary because he offered for two years to provide federal prosecutors his electronic devices and to talk it over with them. They won't explain to me what they're looking into for two years, Giuliani said in an evening appearance on Tucker Carlson tonight. Giuliani's lawyer, Robert Costello, had previously stated, said proposed meetings between investigators and Giuliani legal team didn't take place because prosecutors wouldn't agree to precondition that they find that they first disclose more about the probe. And that makes sense, actually. I mean, if that's true. I wouldn't think you'd want to disclose more about the probe. Just in, I mean, I'm not saying that this probe is legitimate or not legitimate. Try to find out whether it's legitimate or not. Good luck. You're going to find on the right. It's, of course, oh, no, it's not legitimate. It's complete. Uh, it's probably some degree of both. Uh, I, I doubt that there are many politicians that do things these days that don't have some measure of corruption in their hands, including Giuliani, including everyone that you can imagine. Uh, But at the same hand, I doubt that this is an investigation that probably would have happened if it wasn't targeting Giuliani 
in an effort to get to Trump. This is, I've, I've said in other videos, I think what's going on here ultimately is the DNC, whatever you want to call that machine, that, that, that anti-American, anti-Bill of Rights machine that's seeking to entrench corpo state nationalism into our land so that they no longer have any accountability or any competition to worry about. They are essentially trying to hatshepsut Trump. Hatshepsut was an Egyptian pharaoh, one of the greatest pharaohs, maybe the greatest pharaoh, happened to be a woman. And that narrative that a woman could be a strong pharaoh was undermining to the men of the time. So after, after she died, well, they went through the process of trying to wipe her out, wipe out all evidence of her and uh, the, anybody connected to her. Not good. Not good. And I think what they're doing here is Donald Trump, basically, whatever you say about him, whether you like him, whether you don't like him, I don't think that you can deny that Donald Trump came outside of the inner circle of approved candidates. And he wasn't going along with the inner circle of, this, of what I call the Citadelians. And these are the, essentially the corpo state nationalists that benefit from such things. And he was bucking the trend. And I, now, I have a theory that Trump was really just, he's just trying to get inside, ultimately. And he's trying to negotiate, messing their stuff up so that they'll, they'll listen to him and negotiate. And he, I think he is trying to change them somewhat, too. But at any rate, they have to delegitimize everything about the past Trump administration only for one reason and one reason only, to make sure that nobody gets it in their heads that anyone should be approved or make it through any kind of filtering that allows them to have any real power in America that isn't approved by state. Trump, Donald Trump is like... Uh, he is like he's like Hep Chepset, instead of being a woman, he's he's a a non. He he's he's not exactly an outsider, but in, in compared to the the inner circle of Citadelians, he's a non he's a non insider. He's an outsider, and they can't allow for that premise. All of the political candidates of all major parties must be approved. This is why Bernie Sanders got so railroaded because he was also not one of these people. He was like a Trumpian, and you can't allow that. So that's what's going on, folks.